Welcome True Seekers to the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Vibes. I am back with another work in money for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and on the cusp. If you fit this description, please stick around. The forecast may pertain to you. However, if it doesn't fit, please acquit. With this being said, remember to give our viz a thumbs and to check the description box on ways to reach out to me as well as how to make a purchase. I am now ready for you to sit back and prepare for your messages from source through me for your work and money week of September 20th until September 26th. I hope you enjoy it, Gemini, and please stay awake. Awesome. Okay. I had to start over on you guys. I hate that. It takes up space and stuff. You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing? What's up? Devil's advocate. Hope everyone is well. Hope you all had a chance to um, review the premieres on Sunday. I'm sure one, if not all of those things pertain to you in some way or another, even if you was cross watching, know that most of those spiritual messages the 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 gist of your messages will be in the premieres and then i'll give you some light-hearted messages to go along with your um tarot scope um to kind of have you integrate that i try to give you a full scope to try to figure everything out on your own you know what i'm saying so i hope it's working i like it you know i don't like easy i like challenge okay and that's what you're good for you're born under that challenge thinking Gemini. All right. So what is your one word reference for this week? And I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers again and happy birthday to any Virgos out there in case you're watching. I totally forgot and I'm so sorry. Happy solo return. Look, often body. Often body. I don't know. Often you wash your body. This is the often, it's like a lot all the time, frequently. Body. Maybe you're giving them body, body language, or maybe some of that. Oh, my, my body, that my body. Was that Beyonce? My body, that's your body. I don't know. Often, body. I don't know. Maybe you show your body often. I don't know. Use your body. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but maybe we'll figure it out. We're going to go ahead and get into this forecast, though. Since I'm behind, I wasn't feeling too good. I was sick, so I didn't get to do any work yesterday. So I'm trying to do them all today. Hopefully, I can have an off day tomorrow to do other stuff. Overall energy is your four of pentacles. All right. That's a good way to start off. What is it based on? The nine of wands. Expect. The Ace of Cups, stemming from the World card. Outcome is the Five of Pentacles. Conflict and a challenge and supportive energy. We'll get to that in a moment. Online energy is news, okay? News, harrowing news, all right? Now, some of you, um, this news is something that um, someone may have not, you know, may be restricted from doing or maybe some restrictions in the news. Hmm. Like this could be a letter, an email or something, but it was some restrictions attached, okay? Or you felt restricted. You know, or you felt restricted till they showed up. Like you couldn't do nothing till you got this mail. But it was some some kind of restriction. Okay. And for some of you, whatever's going on stems from here. The premieres. Okay. That could have been the message. I don't know why I was restricted. Or why you were restricted. You know, but um, it's stemming from the premieres. Um, I'm also hearing class. Like, um, world history class, okay? This is world history class. Oh, I don't know 
what she's trying to tell me. For some of you, this is from a presidential address. Or this is something that's going to be considered presidented. Okay. And that's P-R-E-C. Okay, not the S. C-E-N, president. Like, it, when it's presidented, it's it's everywhere. It's big. It's, 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 it's global. And I keep hearing coins, like money with this. I don't know why. But I am. There's money in this world card. It's coming from some money. It could be about making money, like a mint, like making money. Because this is um, what the preparation for making money. It's based on what somebody or you behind the scene. Okay. Why am I hearing a new world order in this? I don't know why I'm hearing that. A new world order. Oh, wow. But that would make sense coming out of Gemini because we know that Uranus will be rolling into Gemini in a couple of years from now because it takes it does seven years in each sign. So I know it's been in Taurus for about five already. It's going on five so in a couple of years, we may be already feeling this energy because we know that Uranus will begin to shake up the legality system. You know, and it goes all the way from jobs to court systems to bureaucracies. It doesn't matter. There's going to be new drafts and laws and stuff. It may have something to do with that. You know, you know our government have eyes. You know, people behind the scene reporting. This is the army. Okay. But this is also a presentation based on something you do behind the scenes or someone behind the scenes. This could very well be their work. That's behind the reason. Oh, what's going on, devil's advocates, man? What's, am I got this on the right side? Okay. Yeah. This could be, they say this could be from overseas. I said world global, didn't I? But let me throw that in there. Because I don't know where Geminis are. You don't never know what part of the country people are watching. Didn't I say that? Spying. On the lookout. Hmm. Keeping an eye out on something. Keeping an eye out for this. It's all stemming from keeping an eye out for something. Underlining energy is the king of swords. Now, this can be investigative. Maybe you're investigating somebody, looking into something, like looking deep into something. Or maybe this is an advisory. Some type of advice. Advisors. This is an advisor. We do have the world here. And maybe this is your energy, something you keep an eye out on, like YouTube. You know, not this, say premieres. You know, what's your overall energy? The Four of Pentacles. Now, this is contentment at its finest, okay? You can't be no more settled than this. You are pretty settled this week. You have all that you need materially okay um you may even feel rich you know what i'm saying you may you feel fulfilled this is fulfillment okay overall you feel fulfilled okay it's based on some things that you do a person from behind the scene maybe they make you maybe this is a militant man you know this could be based on you 
having um being very watchful and protective of your materials of your gains of your property you know you have everything because you you protect your shit you watch out for your shit i don't know where you live you know what i'm saying Now, for others of you, this could, like I said, this could be the premieres. You got, you watched all the premieres, okay? And now you feel totally inspired, okay? Some of you just gonna go take a hot shower after this. Yeah, okay, for real, you just gonna go take your hot shower because you feel pretty content about these premieres. Some of you, or about this world view, or about something that's some presidential address or something presidented this could be futuristic as well like it's presidented you know it is like it's, it's, it's foretold but it hasn't necessarily set yet because i see in the outcome you're going to get your needs met okay this could be as simple as going to the corner market you're going to take a shower and go to the corner market, but you're going to feel inspired and ready to get up and go to get what you need. It's kind of like I see you feeling affected, being affected, feeling pushed by some presidential address, uh, some kind of work that you're doing. You know, because this is um, spending time in your in your own world. You're in a bubble here. A money maker idea, a money making idea. This can also be the press, like the news, the press, the newspaper. What's the conflict this week? The Eight of Swords. You gotta sort all this shit out. You can't do nothing until you know where you're going, right? You got to know where you're going. You don't know where you're going. You know? You may not even know where you're at. Because this is mental. See? You got the mental and the physical here. You know? So you just stay there. You know? You don't know if to leave because you need to protect your shit. You know? Protect your papers. Protect your belongings. Protect your interests. Or maybe this is this man. Maybe he's a bit of a stalker. Maybe he keeps an eye on you. Did I say that? Maybe this is you. But this looks like this is a this is a watcher. I don't like again. I don't know if you're trying to get into a place or get out of a, get away from a place, but this is definitely a, a card of escape. And so, some of you, the conflict is just having to stay tied to the situation until you can figure it out. Okay, until you know where you're going. You know, it's kind of like people stay with a job till they know where they're going. You know what I'm saying? They stay stuck. And this is not an easy feeling right here. When you're in the Eight of Swords, when you're ready to go, you're ready to go. You know? It's like mapping everything out. So some of you, you're going to be making your offers this week. because You done did your homework here. You done prepared everything. You done got it together. You done mapped it out. You done put it in the want ads, and now you're ready to offer this. You feel it inspired to provide services and or products to people. Some of you going to feel like you're floating on water this week. And you're, on, and you're the lookout person, you know, looking for your clients and whatnot, looking for your customers, Okay. And you'll be pretty damn content this week, okay? I see that you'll have enough. You'll have everything you need, time to yourself, food to eat, bills paid. 
your needs is met. Your immediate needs, your household immediate needs are met this week. You have more than enough. Okay? What's going to help you with this Eight of Swords, though, is the Two of Cups. A soulmate reaching out to somebody. Okay? Reaching out and asking for a little help or asking them to partner with you. Or this is your soulmate. Your soulmate could be anybody. Your brother, sister, your lover, your friend, your mama, your whoever. A partner. Let's call this a partner. Some of you, th there needs to be some healing here. Needs a healing touch is needed. I don't know if this is immediate or this is somebody that you've had been at odds with or something that you need a little healing. Need a little healing. Need a little healing. Probably need a little healing. That's what your oracle message is this week. You kind of boring this week, Gemini. You always get the good reads. Only thing that's really good about it is this conflict, this eight of swords, which I don't understand unless this is a um a stalker. Or maybe this is your man always watching you. You need to figure out how to get out of something so you can meet this person. I don't know. Maybe this is the person in the two of cups. Okay. The guard. The watchman. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know why I'm hearing schizophrenia, but I am. Like I said, sometimes this person could have schizophrenia. A person in the nine of wands could. Ooh, you got the whistle. Okay. The whistle is your oracle message. Flag, flame, floor fly. Okay, flag, flame. Like you want to flag somebody down. Look, you want to fan the flame, floor fly, get away. Floor. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what the floor is for. Is y'all gonna do it on the floor <laughs> with the flames? All right, now. Oh, this is a decision. Okay, now if this is a choice, maybe you blowing the whistle on somebody. I don't know. Deciding to give them a call to make somebody aware, alert, to call a play on somebody, call somebody out. Is that what you're trying to do? Call somebody out. It's a decision to be made this week if you're going to call somebody out. Ooh, they go to Five of Pentacles again. Okay. This may also be about a reference. So maybe you're trying to get some credit. You may need a reference. Let me see what else I can gather from the whistle. We have to go so fast sometimes. Oh, I can't get all my thoughts together. <sighs> okay, to squeal. Yeah, that's telling. All right. <laughs> a police alert, cat calling or attraction. Mm -hmm. I a call. Uh, feeling content. Wanting to be pacified. Oh, okay. So maybe that's where this two of cups come in. When you're making this call, making this decision. Because you want to be pacified. <laughs> For others, you may be thinking about telling. <coughs> maybe calling on this stalker. I don't know. Let's see what shape you'll be in this week. Or this person behind the scenes, somebody behind the scenes. You got the green square. Ta-da! We know what green stands for. It could be envy as well, okay? But it also means like um, good things like good health, good eating. This is vibrancy, health, the square stability. Right? Wow. Green.
good, good health, money, veggies, envy, weed. All right, that's your week. You got a pretty good week. You do, you got a pretty good week, devil's advocate. And on that note, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Tarot Temple one more again for work, money, and romantic guidance. I can't wait to bring you another one. Till then, remember to have peace. Remember to walk by faith and by sight. <laughs> peace and one love.